dream to dining at a fabulous world-class restaurant, or even wished we were capable of preparing such an elegant, romantic meal ourselves. For most of us, though, that's only a dream. Chip is 100% a convenience store junkie. Which tastes really good to me. But is it really that expensive to create an exquisite meal? Or can you prepare an elegant dinner fit for royalty with only the change in your couch cushions? Well, we intend to find out as we take a hapless cooking idiot the Consensus in my family is that I'm the worst cook on the planet and turn them into a master chef for a day. What the heck is this? <laughs> disgusting. Is that is disgusting. Or at least we're going to try. Now, we found a guy right here in Milwaukee who's going to be celebrating his one-year engagement anniversary. Now, he thinks our master chef is going to come in and prepare a fantastic meal for him and his lovely lady. Little does he know, boy, is he in trouble. He is going to have to prepare a meal himself, and he's going to have to get the ingredients from a local convenience store. And he's going to have to do all that with a dirty change in his couch. And I don't want to know what's under that couch. So the hijinks begin on today's... Disaster! Our chef this week is Master Chef Eric Austin. He's cooked for more politicians and celebrities than you can count, including Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal, and Snoop Dogg. And I just want to get that person to have fun with what they're doing. Don't be intimidated by the food. Chip is doing exactly what he wants to be doing right now. He's playing his music for a living. I'll be driving home at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, and I love picking up a hot dog, greasy hot dog. And he could really use the services of our master chef. He tends to take spices, every spice off the spice rack. I love my cooking, and so does my dog, Pop. So it sounds like a cooking idiot needs a lot of help in the kitchen. What a surprise. So let's get this kitchen rescue underway. So. Take a look under your seat. How much money we got? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, ten dollars and thirty-three cents. Are you sure you're not trying to trick me? Let's see. We don't want you to poison anyone. Okay. So we brought in a very great chef. We're gonna be doing some great things with gourmet cooking. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So you're gonna turn me into a gourmet cook? How much time do we have? How much time do we have? You know, <laughs> the Open Pantry is a Midwest regional chain of convenience stores, and you'd be amazed at what you can find here on their shelves. Well, I'm telling you, man, this is where I go 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, nights on the road. This is my gourmet. I'm going to show you this. Never, ever underestimate the power of convenience store noodle. All right, I need your arms. Who doesn't like all-American apple pie? Are you going to make an apple pie with what, one apple? You're going to do it. Let's head to the free <laughs> stop. All right. Here. You guys think you're on the budget? Let's see where we're at. We're over the budget with the apple. I'm what did scared. you say? I'm scared. I know what I'm doing. Let's rethink. We're here rethinking. There's some heat in the well, kitchen. Let's check out some sauce. Alright guys, so here we are. How do you feel? You think you can get something good? Oh, I'm mm -hmm. quite sure of it. Let's get cooking. Okay, all right. You know where you're going? Sometimes. That says front, you know. Oh, wow. <laughs> How much heat are you willing to put Cassidy through? You know what? Let's let's make it hot. Let's take it all the way. Go ahead. I'll let you know. I'll say when for you. All right. Make it better. Good. You hear that? I hear the sizzle. That's cooking, baby. That's a beautiful thing right there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have a very special someone coming in. Food critic. If he says that it's a recipe for success, you and Cassidy are going to trip to Vegas. Shut up. And I swear to God. Shut you know, up. Like, like, no. I'm starting to sweat. No. <laughs> oh, like now the pressure's on us. They're on their way to cooking a fabulous feast, but time is running out and the stakes have been raised. They've only got a couple of hours before Chip's girlfriend arrives home. Oh my God. Coming up. Will things go smoothly in the kitchen, or will we have a meltdown on our hands? It's, it's, We're out of control. It's, We're out of control. You are out of All control. All right, let's get it in friend. there. And will Chip's newfound culinary skills be enough to impress the food critic? Is it perfection? It's not perfection. Or maybe more importantly, will it be enough to impress his girlfriend?